in England and set up shop there. And I mean, it is just the same story over and over again. And then you've got the other power group with the Vatican who wants the EU for themselves. I mean, there are different power blocks even in the West. You got the Russians and the Orthodox. You got the Chinese. You got the Japanese. And you got the, the Saudi Arabians sitting in the middle of it. I mean, this is just unbelievable. People want to go watch Game of Thrones because it's about empires and groups and subterfuge and fighting with each other. The real Game of Thrones is going on in front of you right now. And the elite that run us here put cancer viruses in the vaccines and deadly ionized fluoride in the water to supercharge the other drugs they're adding to the water on record. I mean, that's beyond insane. And I'm here talking about it. And so the FBI and DHS, they like to go to different reporters or our contributors. So the word gets back to me to try to mess with me as a psyop. It doesn't really work the way they think it does or to create whatever setup they're into. They go around visiting people. We've got a guest coming up that got a visit from DHS yesterday. He's a TV actor and also well-known professional wrestler, Telly Blackwood. Remember when his video got 800,000 views in one day? Uh, the satire where they uh, waterboard uh, Piers Morgan and Michael Moore. Remember they shut that video down on the request of Michael Moore it said that when the video was taken down. Well, lawsuits were threatened, so YouTube restored it. Well, the DHS shows up asking him about me. And this happens to other people. They don't want me to talk about it, so I don't. But it's, it's just, you know, a black sedan with two FBI agents follows you home at night. Or, you know, you're, you're eating dinner and, and, you know, obvious special forces people come over and threaten you at your table. You know, the, the, and it's like, wow, you guys really are that evil. You really are traitors. You know, I, I mean, whatever. I'm not bad, so I'm not worried about whatever you do to me. I mean, I have a responsibility to stand up against you. I, it's not fun, and I don't particularly like that I have this job, but I've got to do it. Because the alternative is turning the entire world over to you. Telly Blackwood's not afraid of him. He told him, get off of his property. By the way, they walked in his house without, without a warrant. That's coming up. Now, let me give you the big news that's got me shell-shocked. And by shell-shocked, I, I, I don't even know how to get into this. I mean, it's happening. The nightmare is unfolding. The New York Times is reporting the White House is set within days to sign executive orders. And Obama is reportedly looking at an outright gun confiscation of semi-autos and of national registration. And then when there's another shooting, even though statistically honeybees kill more people than mass shooters every year, uh, they're going to ban whatever else has been registered. It's the Chicago, New York model. And I've got audio of him saying it, endorsing the Australian gun confiscation, which took everything but single shot. First they registered, then they took everything but single shot a year later. It's here. It's there. And by the way, you look at that mass shooting they had in Australia, in Tasmania, totally staged. The Port Arthur massacre, totally staged. Totally. Total proof. And that's, even that polls in Australia, the majority think it was staged. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, they're coming. This is it. And I don't want it to happen. But when they're already tested it in California and New York, they're, they're SWAT teaming veterans and gun owners with no criminal records saying your neighbor was concerned that, that they said you have guns and they just take your guns. And then they have government psychiatrists that don't even see you or interview you and say you're mentally ill. No judge, no jury. And that's the headline a few months ago in Bloomberg was gun confiscation begins in California. And they're coming. With the armored vehicles, with the task forces, they have actuaries that they know a certain percentage of people are going to resist. You're going to be called terrorists. They're going to burn you down in your house. And then the civil war is going to start. I mean, and then, and then, by the way, for the police and military, I mean, whoa. I, I, I mean, I really, this is horrible. And by the way, they're all going to sit there at the White House, and George Soros is going to sit there and watch all this unfold and watch everybody kill each other laughing about it. And I know I say this a lot because it clicked this morning why it freaks me out so bad. My grandfathers both almost died in the Army Air Corps fighting Hitler. And now a, a Nazi sympathizer who worked for the Nazis in Romania and other areas, George Soros, is trying to overthrow the Second Amendment, free speech, and funding a movement to have the liberty movement arrested. They're now calling for that and saying we're terrorists. An actual Nazi sympathizer that my grandfathers fought...
He is now coming after me. I am, we, I mean, I cannot believe how bizarre this is. The injustice of this, the, the evil of these people. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners. Visit FreeCovertKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and to claim yours free. It's the same knife you've seen in airline magazines for $29.95. But today, it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. Go to FreeCovertKnife.com. Go now. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-478-9638 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-478-9638 to take your call now. Call 1-800-478-9638. That's 1-800-478-9638. Again, 1-800-478-9638. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Group. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2, available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. You've talked about it for a while. Now it's time to get your family the emergency readiness pack it deserves. And there's one site to turn to, TopPackGear.com. From large to small, you'll find kits for every purpose, and all of them can be customized by you. TopPackGear.com offers the best pre-built packs the Internet has to offer. Assembled using only high-quality products vetted by pros and chosen for the best balance of quality and value. Prepare, endure, prevail with TopPackGear.com. Look in my eyes. What do you see? The cult of tyranny. That's what you see when you look at Obama. Kurt Nemo did a great graphic on the front page of InfoWars.com that shows the seal of Homeland Security with an illegal climbing over barbed wire. They don't need to do that. You just get on a plane, get on the bus, give yourself to the Border Patrol, and they're not allowed to throw, take you back over now. That's on record. You are brought in and then released. <clears throat> and if you can get here, you're basically legalized. It is, by fiat, total amnesty, and advertising come here.
to collapse the borders and create a humanitarian crisis. And we've got border sheriffs, the head of the Border Patrol Union, and others saying this is amnesty by fiat. This is like Hurricane Katrina. Border sheriff likens influx of illegal immigrants to Hurricane Katrina. And under Reagan, the Army floated a plan via Colonel North, who was a Marine, but that's who brought forward the plan to set up a deal with Latin America to basically flood the United States and use the Southwestern crisis to bring in martial law. And that's called Rex 84. I mean, I can pull up the uh, Iran-Contra hearings where they, there's hours of them on YouTube. Colonel North, at your time at the National Security Council, Congressman Jack Brooks asked him, Democrat, is it true there were plans to suspend the Constitution and bring in martial law and put Americans in FEMA camps? And then Senator Inhofe goes, we will not touch upon that matter at this time. If you wish to, we will discuss it upon executive session. Said the Hawaiian. Those matters touch on a classified area. We won't discuss that at this time. I mean, all the planets are, al are aligning right now for pure evil. I mean, I've told you, I feel the dread, I feel the concern, I see it, and now my spidey sense is just, oh, we now are talking to new recruits through Biggs's contacts and others. They're now telling new recruits in the Air Force and Army, you will be fighting Russians in Russia. And of course, they always tell you, you're gonna be fighting Vietnamese, boy, two years before the Gulf of Tonkin. You're going to be going to Vietnam or you're going to be going to Iraq. They were telling them, you know, a year before Iraq. I mean, they're telling them you're going to fight the Russians. I mean, this is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Is Vladimir Putin trying to take my guns? No, George Soros and Obama are. And let me tell you, they got their chance to wreck this country. They're not going to want to miss out on it. They're going to make their move. And then the ultra high treason. Kurt says U.S. Department of Homeland stupidity, and that's the view, you know, oh, they're dumb letting the illegals in. I'm not criticizing his piece. The folks that don't understand it are stupid in Homeland Security that just think they're inept. No, 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 this isn't being done because they're stupid. It's what I started the show with. It's being done because it's the Department of Homeland tyranny or Homeland destruction. U.S. Department of Homeland destruction. In fact, let's change stupidity to destruction. Up on Infowars.com with the great Kurt Nemo. I think he's probably one of the best graphics people we got. On top of a great writer and website designer. But again, ladies and gentlemen. Again, ladies and gentlemen. We stand on the precipice. You know, I'm just here calmly saying, oh, Obama came out on CBS News and said we need to look at Australian-style gun confiscation. You yeah, know, and they're talking about, hey, let's have a war with the Russians. Yeah, that's another great idea. <laughs> For no reason, George Soros bragged two weeks ago to the Associated Press that he's behind Ukraine, putting actual Nazis in charge. But that was such a backlash against that, they removed that guy that was appointed. And Obama kept calling it duly elected. Remember that? They finally did have an election. And even Belarus and others recognized it. And he is a guy that's liked by both sides. Maybe it's real. I don't know. He's not a Nazi. Our government wanted actual hiling Hitler Nazis funded by George Soros. I mean, I really think Rod Serling is about to walk in here any moment. And I'm going to wake up from some 20-year dream I've been having. And this isn't real. I mean, who can come up with stuff like that? A Nazi collaborator who helped hunt down Jews and find their hiding places and sell them out wants my guns and my free speech and is financing the, the call for basically my arrest on national television? When we come back, we'll play the Obama clip, but it's up on Infowars.com. PrisonPlanet.com. I mean, listen, folks. People that were Nazi collaborators hunting people down run our country. I mean, I mean you can't make that up. Okay, I mean, that's how much trouble we're in, folks. They hate this country. They're destroying it. They're shutting it down right now, and it's on purpose. 
We're on the march.